Welcome to Third Day Worship Center. Amen. It's good to be alive. It's good to be here. Amen. 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 And I got to tell you something. Today is a day of victory. Amen. <clears throat> so this is your day. And, uh, and I'll tell you why. In Psalms 51.10, it says, <clears throat> oh, let's see him. It says, create in me a clean heart, O God, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. And in another translation, it says, create in me a, a clean heart, O God, renew a loyal spirit within me. Amen? And so what God is, is wanting to tell you this morning, uh, you all heard about David, you know, David and his shenanigans, Right? You know, he, uh, he uh, committed adultery in his heart first before he actually did it, right? He even had a, a murderous spirit on him. He murdered her husband, right? Well, you know, and so he wanted a new heart. And he asked the Lord, you know, created me a new heart. So what I'm trying to tell you this morning is, it doesn't matter what you've done. If he get, forgave David for all these, guess what? He can forgive us, right? Amen. And so if, you know, if we think something we're not supposed to, God forgive me. And if we try to commit adultery like he did, oh, God, forgive me. Clean my heart. Make it new so I won't do those things. And so, you know, the word talks about a good person out of his mouth produces good and an evil person well you know we know produces evil right and so his word says out the ab the abundance of your heart your mouth speaks okay and so Jesus is saying today this is your day of victory victory he says you know I needed a new heart here years ago and guess what I asked the Lord and he said I have a new heart for you. And he gave me a brand new heart, y'all. And so I said, oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you. Then I said, Lord, you know, re renew, uh, give me a clean mind and, and steady my heart. And he did. Okay. So there's nothing too big that God can't do for you this morning. And then I wanted a heart that um, would obey him all the time. Right. Now, I know sometimes we have a hard time. I know we're human. But you know what? We can. You know, we can, we can obey the Lord at all times. So if he says we can do it, guess what? His word is true. Amen? And so, you know, he, uh, he comes in. And if you had all kinds of trials and all kinds of havoc and you know, or you're tired, or your heart's not right, or you're far from him. You can't even feel him anymore. Well, guess what? He didn't walk away. We did, right? And so as we confess our sins this morning, it doesn't matter what it is, okay? And um, it says that he will forgive us. And, you know, so David wanted his testimony to be restored, right? How many of you this morning, you don't have to raise your hand, God knows, that you need your testimony restored again? Once again, Lord, help me be close to you once again. Let me have that passion in my heart for you once again. That's all I think about. And Father, you know, clean my heart. Forgive me once again, once again. And you know, uh, <clears throat> so David, I mean, you know, we know how he used to praise the Lord. But he was away from him at one time. But God brought him back. So this morning, you know, it doesn't matter what we've been through, what we've done. Uh, God's a forgiving God. And I thank God for that because the many mistakes that I made, you know, if he hadn't forgave me, I'd been lost forever. So with that this morning, the altars are open during worship. If you want to come up and just praise him up here, or you want to come up here and just say, God, forgive me. Or you want to come up here and say, God, I need a new heart. Okay, he will. And if you want him to 
restore something that was in your life that was so important. These are tears of joy. He will. So whatever it is that you need this morning, nothing is too big for him. Not my God. Amen. All right. So let's stand up and let's pray. Let's get started in this worship. Because remember, today's your day of victory. Okay. You get to choose your day of victory today. Because he has it right here already. Amen. Father, we just come to you today. Father God, we thank you, Father, the opportunity that we can come and be in your presence, Father, or come and ask for forgiveness, Father, or come and give me a new heart, a, a, a loyal spirit, Father God. And every, anything that we need, Father, a, a healing in our minds, our, our emotions, you know, a peace. Father, Sunday we just need peace. And we ask you for the peace and the grace and the mercy today, Father God. I thank you this is a day of victory. Yes. And so we just praise you. Thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus. And everybody say, Amen. 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 Gracias, Señor. Que podemos hacer todo en tu nombre. Thank you, Lord, that we can do all things in your name. Porque nada es imposible con nuestro Dios. Because nothing is impossible with our God. Amen. There is no fear, because I believe. There is no doubt, cause I have seen your faithfulness, my fortunes, over and over. Una y otra. 
otra vez Aleluya Aleluya Our God is good Nuestro Dios reina Amén Aleluya Esta victoria es nuestro testimonio hoy That victory That's our testimony today Amén That God raised us to life Que Dios nos da vida I saw Satan fall on lightning I saw darkness run for cover But the miracle that I just can't get over My name is registered in heaven There are signals and prodigies Su poder he recibido Pero el milagro que yo no comprendo Mi nombre Escrito está en el cielo Por siempre mi adoración te entrego Este es mi testimonio de salvación Su amor cambió mi historia Me perdonó por medio de la cruz Me justificó Este es mi testimonio Este es mi testimonio Resurrection power Still the memory hold that I just can't get over My name is registered in heaven My praise belongs to you forever This is my testimony from death to life Cause grace rewrote my story I don't know about you, but he's not done when he's already started. Not dead, you're not done. Greater things are still to come. Oh, I believe. If I'm not dead, you're not done. Greater things are still to come. Oh, I believe. Be whispered to say, be not. God is so good, amen. Turn to your neighbor and say, That is my testimony. Dile a tu vecino, Esto es mi testimony. Se pueden sentarse. Amen, amen. ¿Cómo están? Dios me los bendiga. How are you all today? Bendecidos con esta hermosa alabanza. Blessed with this amazing worship. 
Voy a, me tocó ahora abrir, um, decir para la ofrenda. Estoy un poco nerviosa, es la primera vez. I'm a bit nervous, it's my first time with offerings. So, vamos a leer en Lucas 21. We're going to read in Luke 21. 1 al 4. 1 through 4. Dice así en el nombre del Padre, dijo el Espíritu Santo. It says like this. Levantando los ojos, vio a los ricos que echaban sus ofrendas en el arca de las ofrendas. Vio también a una viuda muy pobre que echaba ahí dos blancas. Y dijo, en verdad os digo, esta viuda pobre echó más que todos, porque todos aquellos echaron para la ofrenda de Dios de lo que les, de lo que les sobra. Mas esta de su pobreza echó todo el sustento que tenía. And he looked up and saw the rich putting, putting their gifts into the treasury, and he also saw a certain poor widow putting in two mitts. He said, truly, I say to you that this poor widow has put in more than all. all for all of these, out of their abundance, have put in offerings for God, but she out of her poverty put in all the livelihood that she had. Esta mañana yo nomás los quiero invitar a que demos con un agradecimiento de corazón a Dios, no importa lo que sea, si sea un dólar. This morning I invite you to come and put in your offering with all honor and glory to God. Y el Señor mira, no, no mira el dinero, sino mira tu corazón, desde el fondo de tu corazón, de tu alma, cómo lo traes a Él. And He does not look at your what you put in but he looks at what you put in with your heart en esta mañana les invito a que nos uh, oremos para que el Señor bendiga nuestras ofrendas this morning I, I invite you so that we pray so that he blesses our offering Señor Jesús venemos esta mañana Señor con todo nuestro corazón con un agradecimiento eterno Señor por todo lo que tú nos das Señor por lo que tú nos regalas cada día Señor y no nomás hoy Señor sino todos los días Señor te damos gracias Señor todo esto lo digo en el nombre de su Hijo amado que es Jesucristo Amén y Amén You may bring your offerings forward se pueden pasar con sus ofrendas Priscilla did a great job. Priscilla hizo un buen trabajo. She's in training. Dios ha dado muchos dones a muchas personas, amén. God's given a lot of gifts to a lot of different people and he wants us to use them. You know, this morning uh, when I was listening to my, to the word of the Lord and uh, I like to listen while I'm getting ready. Me gusta escuchar la palabra de Dios cuando estoy preparando para mañana. Uno, una cosa en primer de Tesalonicenses, the, in First Thessalonians chapter one, it says, so you receive the message with joy from the Holy Spirit in spite of the severe suffering it brought you. Dice, así que recibieron el mensaje con la alegría del Espíritu Santo a pasar de gran sufrimiento que les trajo. Isn't that true that a lot of times in the midst of suffering, muchas veces en medio del sufrimiento, God brings joy. Dios trae gozo. Es el más gran gozo. That's the greatest joy. Y no entendemos por qué. We don't, we don't understand it, right? El mundo no entiende. The world doesn't understand. Like, how can you be joyful? ¿Cómo puedes tener ese gozo en medio de todo eso? Because we know who holds our future. Porque nosotros conocemos a quien tiene nuestro futuro en sus manos. He has the control. Él tiene el control. So we don't need to have any fear. No necesitamos tener miedo de nada. Porque Él siempre está allí. And Él nos da paz. And He gives peace. Maybe you need peace this morning. Posible necesitas paz esta mañana. Posible necesitas gozo en medio de tu situación. Maybe you need joy in the midst of your situation. Cry out to the Lord. Clama al Señor. Rendirte todo a Él. Surrender all to Him today. Because in Him we have that victory. Porque en Él tenemos esa victoria. Amén. Surrounding me, 
let it break Let your name still Call the sea to still The rage in me to still Every wave Let your name Jesus, Jesus You make the darkness tremble Jesus, Jesus Silence here, Jesus, Jesus. You make the darkness tremble, Jesus, Jesus. Paz, dame de tu paz. Tormenta cesarán on a Because every victory 
is by Jesus' name. Cada victoria tenemos in the nombre de Cristo. Amen. Surrender it all to him. 
empieza a rendir todo a Él Todo miedo, toda duda, every fear, every doubt Because God, He reigns And He has the victory Porque Él tiene toda la victoria esta mañana Ya ha ganado, He's already won it Hallelujah Sing it with us, the battle is the Lord's, the victory is yours Así nos rendimos hacia el Señor. And we, if we don't surrender, you're going to surrender to someone. Si no te rindes al Señor, te vas a rendir a alguien. Right? Y cuando nos rendimos al mundo, right? we're in handcuffs, we're chained up. And there's no hope. Y no hay esperanza. But when we lift up our hands and surrender, we're free. Cuando levantamos nuestras manos, hermanos, aleluya, somos libres en el nombre de Cristo. So let's sing it one more time. Quiero que cantes esto una, una última vez. But I want you to do it being free. Quiero que lo hagas, hermanos, 
estando libre Hallelujah. I surrender to you yo me rindo ante ti Señor en esta tarde I'm tired of doing my thing I surrender to you yo estoy cansado de hacer mis cosas Señor Aleluya I'm tired of running from you ya estoy cansado de correr de ti Señor en esta tarde Señor Aleluya yo me rindo I surrender come on come on Tell your neighbor you're free. Antes de sentarse, dile a tu vecino, soy libre. Y dile, tú eres libre. Hallelujah. I'm going to ask Brother Hector. Hermano Hector, vengase, hermano. Hermano Hector, antes que se siente, vengase por acá. Te parece aquí. Lo, lo, lo voy a usar. No tiene que decir nada. You don't have to say nothing. Pero como se mira bien, lo quiero, lo quiero usar. Hallelujah. I want to use you. If you could open your Bibles to Ephesians 6, 12. Se pueden abrir sus Biblias en Efesios 6, 12. Amen. Yeah, you're right there. No, no tengan miedo. This has been on my spirit for a couple of weeks. Esto ha estado en mi espíritu por varias semanas. And so there's some things you're going to, for those that come to the prayer service, los que vienen en la oración, uh, van a escuchar, uh, lo primero va a ser, va a ser uh, algo que escuchates. The first part is going to be something you heard, pero... Hay otras cosas, muchas otras cosas que no has escuchado. There's a lot of things. Because I want to expound on some things I said on, on Wednesday. Quiero, uh, uh, quiero hablar más de algo que dije y no tuve tiempo. And I didn't have time. But Ephesians 6.12, Ephesians 6.12 dice, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Porque nuestra lucha no es contra seres humanos, sino contra poderes, contra autoridades, contra potestades que dominan este mundo de tinieblas, contra fuerzas espirituales malignas en las regiones celestiales. Wow. Some of us, we're going through one of our biggest battles in our lives and we don't even know it. Hay personas aquí, hermanos, que están batallando en, o en batalla con algo grande y no sabes que estás en esa batalla. Right? Here's Paul saying, we wrestle against not, it's not a battle against another person. Aquí está Pablo diciendo, no es una batalla contra otra persona. See, that would be easy. Eso estuviera fácil, hermano. Right? To punch something we could see. <laughs> De pelear con alguien que podemos ver. But how hard is it when we can't see what we're fighting against. Que es difícil, hermano, pelear con algo que no hemos mirado. Right? And the word wrestle, la palabra aquí, luchar. It's one of the, Paul, and during that time, you know, how many don't, UFC, muchos conocen, I love UFC. 
Oh, what is that, Pastor? UFC is it's MMA. It's, it's you know it's different uh, martial arts, right? Diferentes boxeo, lucha, diferentes mixtiadas. And I remember when that first came out. Recuerdo cuando esto primero salió. It was banned in a lot of states. No, 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 no lo podían mirar en muchas o no pueden ver o no pueden venir y tener ese evento en diferentes estados. Okay, this word wrestle, Paul is saying, this is worse than when UFC started. Eso aún peor de cuando empezó UFC, because there's no referees, no hay ningún referí. These things were happening during that time. Esas son las cosas que estaban pasando durante ese tiempo. Peleas así. En ese tiempo, hermano, por eso cuando Pablo decía eso, la gente entendía, oye, es, es una pelea grande. That's why people understood this is a big battle. No había, hermano, reglas. Just, just imagine a fight without rules. Todo se vale. Aleluya. And they said, if you, if you, if you study this, they, they fought naked. And sometimes to death. Peleaban, hermanos, desnudos hasta la muerte. Right? Eye gouging, los te sacaban los ojos si podía. They broke your bone, quebraban huesos. Tear off your ear if they have to. Rompían ahí, hermanos, tus oídos. A unos son orejas porque, no, 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 no. Mejor no me meto ahí, I don't, I don't go in there. Y luego hay otra palabra aquí, hermanos, cinco veces, five times. It says it in that one verse, en una, en un verso, and it's the word against. Y es la palabra contra, que quiere decir pros, uh -huh, right? It means pros, and you're like, well, it means face to face combat, cara a cara. Like, like, right? There is no space, no hay ningún espacio, right? Right? We get already antsy when people are in our. A veces, hermano, cuando alguien se junta muy de... Hey, cálmate. Give me my space. Dame mi espacio. The devil is right in front of you. El diablo está enfrente de ti. And he ain't backing down. Right? <laughs> and a lot of times, muchas veces, the Bible says, James 4, 7, Santiago 4, 7, Submit yourself to God. Resist the devil and the devil shall flee. Así someten a Dios, resisten al diablo y él huirá, él huirá de ustedes. Right? The reason that the devil is not fleeing is because we're not submitting to God. La razón que el diablo no se está yendo de nosotros, hermanos, y es una pelea constante, and it's a big battle, and it's a constant battle, it's because we're not trusting God. No estamos, hermanos, confiando en lo que Dios nos dice, right? And we're not resisting the devil. No estamos resistiendo. What is resisting? Right? I'm not going to do what you're telling me to do. Yo no voy a hacer lo que tú me has dicho que yo haga. Yo no voy a creer lo que tú me has dicho que yo crea. I'm not going to believe what you're telling me to believe. Right? You see, God is not expecting us to fight, but He is expecting us to show up. Dios no quiere, hermano, que peleamos. La batalla es de Él. Pero Él quiere que nos presentemos. Right? And this is what God's telling me. Es lo que Dios me está diciendo esta semana. Some of us. We're struggling. Estamos batallando. And instead of resisting, y no estamos resistiendo, y lo que estamos haciendo, and what we're doing, instead of dealing with it, no estamos tratando con eso, y lo que estamos haciendo, estamos viviendo con él. And we're living. We're living with a demon that's attacking you. Estamos viviendo, hermanos, con el diablo que te está atacando. Hallelujah. Right? Oh, pastor, well, I'm a Christian. 
Right? You know, I'm not possessed. Yo soy cristiano. Yo no estoy poseído. I'm not talking about being possessed. Amen? But I'm talking about, you know, the devil influences. Amen? Hallelujah. And the attacks are real against Christians. Y los ataques son reales contra los cristianos, hermanos. And some of you don't even know, but you're in the biggest battle of your life. Hay algunos que están aquí, hermanos, en una guerra tan grande. Amen? And instead of, right, resisting, you're living with it. Y ya no estás resistiendo. Ahora te estás viviendo. Y aún te estás acostando. Oh, come on, somebody. You're sleeping. And you take him to work with you. Y lo llevas al trabajo contigo. Y lo llevas a tu casa. Con, and you take him to the house with you. Hallelujah. Right? And that's why you're frustrated at home. And that's why you're frustrated in your marriage. Y por eso estás frustrado en tu matrimonio. And that's why you're fr estás frustrado en el trabajo. I don't like my job. A mí no me gusta mi trabajo. I don't know, you know what? But you know, I, I, I just gotta, I gotta just deal with it. Simplemente tengo que tratar con eso. You're living with it when you don't have to. Además, estás viviendo con eso cuando no. Thank you, brother. Right? There's different kinds of, hay diferentes clases de demonios, hermano. There's a spirit of, the, uh, of sickness. Hay enfermedad. Right? Not all sickness, but there's a lot of sickness that comes from the, hay enfermedades que vienen, son ataques del enemigo. Right? Fatigue. Fatigados. We're tired, man. We're stressed. Estresados. Right? Immorality. Inmoralidad. You're constant, man. You're, it's, wow, temptation. You're falling into temptation. Estás cayendo en esas tentaciones. But one of the things I want to focus today, una de las cosas que me quiero enfocar hoy, and I think we all struggle with it, y creo que todos nosotros batallamos con eso, is that we're, we're scared. We're scared. Tenemos miedo. El temor. Let me tell you something. That's a spirit. That's a demonic spirit against you. Eso es un hermano demonio que viene contra tu vida. El tener miedo. El te ¿Por qué lo dices, pastor? Why do you say that? Because the Bible says, God says, I haven't given you a spirit of what? La palabra dice, yo no te he dado el espíritu de qué? De temor. Fear. <laughs> right? Right? That fear, I don't give you that. Yo no te he dado eso, dice el Señor. That's not from me. Eso no viene de mí. Okay, si ese espíritu no viene de él, entonces de dónde viene? If that spirit doesn't come from me, and then where, it's com where is it coming from? Hallelujah. And it's not from the Casper, the friendly ghost. No es de Casper. ¿Cómo dice? El, el fantasma bueno. No hay ningún fantasma bueno. Aleluya. Solamente Dios es bueno. Only God is good in the name of Jesus. And some of you are living with fear when you don't have to. Hay personas, hermanos, que Dios me muestra que estás viviendo con temor y no tienes que vivir así. Dice Señor, hay personas que están viviendo por temor por años. There's people living in fear for years. There's people been living in fears for months. Hay gente que está viviendo en temor por meses. Amen. And maybe weeks or maybe even days. Al amor, semanas o días. You don't have to live with that anymore. Ya no tienes que vivir con eso en el nombre de Cristo. God wants to set you free. God wants to deliver you. Dios te quiere ser libre, hermano. En esta mañana, en el nombre de Cristo. He who the Son sets free, it's free indeed. El que ha libertado a Cristo. Es libertado en el nombre de él. Right? Watch this. Pastor, but you know, how can the devil attack us that way? ¿Cómo el diablo nos puede atacar de esa manera? You see, he's not attacking the people that are already doing the things he wants to do. El diablo no ataca a las personas, hermanos, que ya están haciendo lo que él quiere que ella haga. Él ataca a las personas que se resisten. Right? He attacks people, amen, Christians, hallelujah. Right? And it's a battle. Y es un, una pelea constante, hermanos, en el nombre de Cristo. Right? It's, it's a battle. It's a battle. We don't understand, right? And that's why, right, when you hear people say, ay, por mira, yo que estoy yendo a la iglesia, ay, eh, mi vecino que no va, a él nada le pasa. 
I, I'm going to church, and I'm doing everything I can, and you know what? I'm struggling, and here's my neighbor, man. He don't even go to church, amen, and nothing, right? And all good things, that, 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 that's a lie, right? The reason he's attacking you is because God is inside of you. La razón que el diablo te ataca es porque Dios está dentro de ti. Es porque hay algo grande que Dios tiene. Hallelujah. Dentro. Because there's something big inside of you. Now, that's why all hell is breaking loose against you. Es por eso que todo infierno ha venido contra ustedes. ¿Cuánto dicen amén? Peter was attacked, influenced by the devil. Pedro atacado, influenciado por Satanás. Cristo le dijo, ¿Quién dices? ¿Quién soy yo? Who do you say I am? All the disciples answered. Varios de los discípulos contestaron. Y Pedro dijo, tú eres el Cristo, el Hijo. El Cristo. El Hijo del Dios viviente. You are the Son. Christ, the Son of the living God. And God says, you're right. Dijo Dios, sí, estás correcto. And over you, I will, over this rock, I'm going to build my church. Y sobre la roca, voy a construir mi iglesia. But verses... After, I verso después. I want you to read it at home. Quiero que lo leas en la casa. Peter rebukes Jesus. Pedro reprende a Jesús. Right? Right? Jesus telling them the things that were going to happen. Cristo diciendo las cosas que iban a pasar. Y aquí está Pedro. Te reprendo, Jesús. No hables así. I rebuke you, Jesus. Don't speak that way. It's because at that moment... Peter was influenced by the devil. En ese momento, Pedro influenciado por el demonio. Porque digo, so why do I say that? Porque Cristo le contestó, Jesus answered, get thee behind me, Satan. Atrás de mí, Satanás. Atrás de mí, Satanás. Hallelujah. Mm. See, Peter didn't know the devil was using him. God knew the devil was using him. Pedro no sabía que el diablo lo estaba usando, pero Dios miró, hermanos, aleluya, que atrás de él estaba Satanás, aleluya. Behind his ear was Satan. Atrás de sus orejas estaba Satanás, aleluya. Pero quiero decirte, hermano, Dios nos ha libertado en el nombre de Cristo. Amen. We are free in the name of Jesus. And some of you, you're going through your biggest battle. Hay gente que está pasando por una guerra, hermanos, por una pelea grande y no sabes. And you don't even know because you're living with it. Amen. And you're gotten, you're gotten, you're, you're kind of gotten used to it. Ya es común, hermanos. Hasta le abren la puerta al diablo para que camine gente. Entra. You may open the doors to the devil. Come on, sit with me. That's how comfortable you've gotten. Así es de, de confortable que hemos llegado, hermanos. And you're frustrated. And you make everybody frustrated around you. Y tú estás frustrado. Hay personas enojadas. People that are mad, amen, and you make everybody mad at you, amen. And that's why you don't have peace, right? That's why your marriage don't have peace. Es porque no tienes paz y tu matrimonio no tiene paz. Hermano, en tu trabajo no hay paz and there's no peace at work, amen, because you're frustrated, because you're carrying, amen, and you're living with this demon, amen, hallelujah, that's called, that, that is called afraid. That's called fear. Estás viviendo con un demonio que se llama, hermanos, miedo, temor. How many want to be free in the name? ¿Cuántos quieren ser libres en el nombre de Cristo? Watch this, watch this. Elijah, ¿cuánto conocen Eli Elías? What? He called 850 prophets. 850 profetas del Baal. He said, we're going to see whose God is real. Vamos a mirar quién el Dios de nosotros es real, el tuyo o el mío. Put a sacrifice, put a sacrificio. You know the story. Muchos ya conocen la historia. Ellos bailaron, gritaron, haciendo todo y nada pasó. Right? They danced. They did everything and nothing happened. Hasta un Elías se burlaba de ellos. Even Elijah said like, is your God asleep? Es que tu Dios está dormido. Y luego Elías hizo, hermanos, ahí, no, 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 no más el sacrificio, pero puso agua sobre el sacrificio. He, he put water. 
Like he's saying, you know what? I'm going to even make it harder for my God. Lo voy a hacer aún más difícil para mi Dios. Aleluya. But when he prayed, fire came down. Cuando él oró, la, oh hermano, fuego descendió del cielo y consumió el holocausto, right? It consumed the sacrifice. Right? And then he killed by himself 850 prophets of Baal. Y él mató, hermanos, 850 profetas de Baal. Just imagine how tired. Imagínate qué cansado él estaba. And then, watch this. I want you to go right here. First Kings chapter 19. Watch this. Primera de, de Reyes, versículo 1. Now Ahab told Jezebel, ahí está el chisme. Right? That's a gossip. Acab le contó a Jezabel lo que había pasado, the things that happened. And Jezebel, watch this, number two, verso dos. So Jezebel sent a message to Elijah. Y luego Jezabel le manda un mensaje a Elías. Así como mataste a mis profetas, no pasará un día, te voy a matar a ti. Just like you kill my prophets, a day, 24 hours is not, will not pass. I'm going to kill you. Right? And you will think, tú piensas que Elías iba a decir, ya me, cállate. I just killed all your prophets. Ya maté a todos tus profetas. Pero no es lo que hace, mira lo que hace Elías. Look what Elijah uh, did. Watch this. Elijah, in verse 3, was afraid and ran for his life. Dice así, hermano, Elías se asustó, tuvo temor y huyó para salvarse. Hello. Influenced by the enemy. Influenciado por el diablo. Hello. You know that Jesus was also afraid? Ay, Señor. Cristo, hermano, también tuvo miedo. Ay, 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 santo, pastor, ¿de qué estás hablando, pastor? What are you talking about, pastor? Jesus was also afraid, amen. Cristo también tuvo miedo, hermanos, aleluya. Mira, 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 mira. Watch this. After supper, de, después de la, uh, la cena, right, la última cena, before he was betrayed by Judas, antes que fue uh, entregado por Judas. Remember, he went to Gethsemane, fue al Gethsemane, and he wanted his, his disciples to pray. Él quería a sus discípulos orar con él, pero se durmieron, they fell asleep. Remember that? And he prayed, y el oro. Look, look what the scriptures, mira lo que dice la escritura. Father, if you're willing to take this cup from me, yet not my will, but your will be done. That's Jesus speaking. Padre, si quieres, Padre, si quieres, no me hagas beber de esta, este trago amargo, pero que no se cumpla mi voluntad, sino la tuya. An angel from heaven appeared to him and, appeared, and, and, and gave him strength. Vino un ángel del cielo y le dio fuerzas. Verse 44, and being in anguish, underline anguish, or in agony, y estando angustiado en agonía. This is what agony means. Es lo que, uh, strong concordance, the definition of agony. Eso viene de la strong, la concordancia, dice así. It is used to refer the trembling, excitement, anxiety produced by fear or tension before a wrestling match or a fight. Se refiere a un temblor. Y ansiedad que produce el miedo o la tensión antes de un combate de lucha o una pelea. It was so intense. Era tan intensivo, hermano. Watch this. Watch it. He prayed, verse 44, and being in anguish, he prayed more earnestly and his sweat was like drops of blood. Fue tan angustiado que se puso a orar con fervor y su sudor era como gotas de sangre que caían a la tierra. Scared. Tenía miedo, hermanos. Just imagine. How about if you knew you were going to die tomorrow and how you were going to die? Imagínate tú sabiendo cómo te ibas a morir mañana y que te ibas a morir mañana y cómo te ibas a morir. He knew. 
He knew everything he had to go through. Él sabía todo lo que él tenía que pasar. Y aún dijo, Señor, is there another way? Hay otra manera de hacerlo, Señor. But see, the difference between us and Jesus, he was overcome by fear. No fue vencido por el miedo. Porque dijo, Señor, que no se haga mi voluntad, sino la tuya. Not my will be done, but your will be done, Lord. Right? I'm not stopping. I can't stop. Hallelujah. I know what I got to do, Lord. I'm trusting in you. Yo sé lo que tengo que hacer, Señor. Yo no voy a parar. Yo estoy confiando totalmente en ti. I might not understand, Lord. I might feel, right? I might feel scared. Al amor, me siento con miedo. I don't know, right? right? But you're with me. Lord, tú estás conmigo, Señor. Tú peleas mi you, But you fight my battle for me in the name of Jesus. I'm going to do what you have called me to do. Yo voy a hacer lo que tú me has llamado a hacer. Y es tiempo que la iglesia se levante y diga, yo voy a hacer lo que tú me has llamado a hacer. It's time for the church to get up and say, I'm going to do what you have called me to do. I don't want to miss out my blessing. Yo no quiero perderme de mi bendición. I'm not going to let fear stop me anymore. Ya no voy a dejar que el miedo me pare. Because it's been stopping me for a long time. Oh. Some of you, you're in your job that you hate because you're afraid that you might not get another one. Hay personas que están en el trabajo y ni te gusta tu trabajo, pero estás ahí porque tienes miedo que no vas a agarrar otro trabajo. Some of you, you had the idea of starting a business, but you haven't started a business because you're scared. And that's the reason why you're paralyzed and not doing anything. Dios ha puesto un negocio en tu vida hermanos Y no, no, lo, has, no, no lo has hecho Porque tienes miedo De qué pasa si esto Y qué pasa lo otro Y estás hermanos Aleluya Estás Estás ahí quieto Y no haces nada con temor You're paralyzed Paralizado de temor Hello How I many you want to be free again? ¿Cuántos quieren ser libres hermanos? En el nombre de In the name of Jesus Watch this in Psalms 34, 4, Salmos 34, 4, I prayed to the Lord and he answered me and he freed me from all, not just part, but all my fears. Oré al Señor y él me respondió y me, me, me libró de todo, no nomás de algo, no nomás de una cosa, sino de todos mis temores. I don't know what's coming against you. Yo no sé cuáles cosas han venido. Yo no sé cuáles demonios estás peleando. I don't know what kind of demons you're fighting in the name of Jesus. But we have a God that when we pray, he will set us free. Tenemos un Dios que, que si oramos nos hace libre en el nombre de Cristo. Some of you are afraid of your future. Unos están atemorizados del futuro. Right? COVID still has some of you afraid. El COVID, oh, to, hermanos. No voy para la iglesia porque pesco ahí el COVID. I'm not going to church because I get COVID. I heard people that got COVID when they were in the house. Yo oí que a gente que tuvo el COVID ahí están en la casa. Yo mejor, si voy a ganar el COVID, mejor aquí en la iglesia alabando el nombre del Señor. I'd rather get COVID here praising the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Watch this. And then Luke chapter 12. It tells us, nos dice. Jesus, how to get free from that demon of fear. Cristo nos da la receta, hermanos, cómo estar libre en frente del temor. Watch this. Luke chapter 12 verse 22. Lucas 12, 22. Then Jesus said to his disciples, Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you eat, or about your body, what you wear. For life is more than food, and, and the body more than clothes. Consider the ravens. They do not sow or reap. They have no storeroom or barn, yet God frees them all. How much more valuable are you to the birds? Who of you, by worrying, can add a single hour to your life? Since you cannot do this very little thing, why do you worry about the rest? Luego le dijo Jesús de PC, ¿por qué? Por eso les dijo, no se preocupen por su vida, ni qué van a comer, ni cómo se van a vestir. 
la vida tiene más valor que la comida, el cuerpo más que la ropa. Fíjese en los cuervos o los pajaritos no siembran, ni cosechan, ni tienen almacén, ni granero. Sin embargo, Dios los alimenta. ¿Cuánto más valen ustedes que los aves? Y preocuparse, no van a añadir una sola hora a su vida. Ya que no pueden hacer algo tan insignificante. ¿Por qué se preocupan por lo demás? See, God never said, you become a Christian, everything was going to be good. Dios nunca dijo, oh, hazte cristiano y todo va a estar bien. People might say, a lo mejor otra gente diga eso. A lo mejor otras iglesias, maybe other churches say that. Pero Cristo dijo, en este mundo van a tener problemas. Jesus said, in this world you're going to have problems. You're going to have troubles, amen. I'm telling you already, off the bat, te voy a decir, voy a ser claro contigo. I'm going to be clear with you. I'm not hiding anything from you. No me estoy escondiendo nada de ti, pero quiero que sepas, yo vencí el mundo. Y como yo vencí el mundo, tú también puedes vencer al mundo. And just like I overcame the world, you could also overcome, overcome the world, amen. In the name, you don't have to live with fear anymore. Ya no tienes que vivir con miedo. I'll set you free tomorrow. Today, yo te hago libre en esta mañana en el nombre de Cristo. Mm. <laughs> Tiempo se está yendo. Remember when he told his disciples after ministering the whole day, let's go to the other side. Recuerda cuando están ministrando, Cristo de sus discípulos dijo, ¿sabes qué? Vamos a ir al otro lado. Let's get in a boat, let's go to the other side. Vamos al barco, al otro lado. Y luego dice que de repente, immediately, a storm. Right? It was nice. Estaba bonito afuera, hermanos. Aleluya. Y luego inmediato, en segundos, en seconds, this big storm. Una tormenta grande, hermanos. Aleluya. Uh, y el barco, hermano, casi se hundía. And the boat was, right? Pummeled by the waves, amen. And, right? and, and the disciples were sure. Y los discípulos tenían miedo. ¿Y dónde estaba Cristo? Where was Jesus? Dormidito. Jesus was asleep. You know why that storm? ¿Sabes por qué esa tormenta? It was a demonic attack against them. Era un ataque del diablo contra ellos. Pastor, why do you say that? ¿Por qué dices eso? Because if you read, when they got to the other side, Jesus rebuked two demon-possessed person. Dios, hermano, reprendó, reprendió a dos personas que estaban poseídos por el diablo before a breakthrough all hell breaks loose antes de un rompimiento antes de un avance hermano todo infierno viene contra ellos and so, so they woke up Jesus like and they said hey don't you care about, uh, no te preocupas que vamos a morir and then Jesus said Cristo dijo why are you scared porque tienes miedo And then he says, peace, be still, paz. Y se pararon el viento. And immediately the winds calmed down. But not only the winds, but the waves. Hallelujah. No solamente el viento, hermano, pero las olas en el nombre de Cristo. Es la misma autoridad que Cristo. Hallelujah. Con Cristo arrepentió. So the same authority that Jesus Christ rebuked that is the same authority that's sent in us. Es la misma autoridad dentro de nosotros. It's time for you to set up. Amen. It's time for you to get up and say, I rebuke you. Amen. I'm not allowing you in my life. I'm not allowing you in my finances. I'm not allowing you in my family. Ya no te voy a dejar en mi vida. Ya no te voy a dejar en mi matrimonio. Ya no te voy a dejar en el trabajo. Hallelujah. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Yo te reprendo en el nombre de Cristo. Hallelujah. Hmm. Number one, uno, número uno. I'm off finish. I know, I know my time is going. Yo sé que el tiempo. But I got to say this. Number one, worry places huge limits on your life. La preocupación pone enormes límites en nuestra vida. Todavía estamos en Lucas. We're still in Luke. Remember? Don't worry about what you're going to eat. Recuerda, no te preocupes lo que vas a comer, cómo te vas a vestir. 
And the reason I say that, la razón que digo eso, Jesus said, you can't even add a single hour to your life when you worry. No puedes agregar una hora más a tu vida con la preocupación. Do you know that 90% of the things you worry never happen? Tú sabes que 90% de las cosas que te preocupan nunca pasan. Todo está en tu mente. Everything is in your head. Right? And you're limiting yourself. Y te estás limitando, hermanos. Right? You're losing time worrying about those. Estás perdiendo tiempo preocupándote de esas cosas. ¿Por qué, hermanos? Porque, hermanos, es tiempo de gozarnos en el nombre de Cristo. It's time for us to praise the Lord. Amen. It's time to walk, to us for walk, to walk in His promises. Es tiempo que la iglesia comience a caminar en sus promesas, hermanos. I don't have time to worry, amen, when God is blessing me. Yo no tengo tiempo de preocuparme cuando la bendición de Dios está sobre mí, cuando el favor de Dios está sobre mí. Aún en mi tormenta, Dios me bendice. Even in my storm, God will bless me in the name of Jesus. Aleluya. Number two, number two, we must see God's kingdom first. If you want fear to leave, you got to put him first. Si quieres que el temor se vaya, lo tienes que poner primero. And there's people in the church that are not putting God first. Hay gente en la iglesia. I'm not even speaking about the people outside. No estoy hablando de la gente afuera. Es que no tengo tiempo, pastor. Que trabajé mucho. I, I worked a lot. I, I'm, 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 I'm putting some overtime. Es que puedo poner tiempo extra. Usted sabe, tengo que pagar un carrito, una casa. I gotta pay, I pay some bills. I gotta pay my new car and all these things. Amen. Hallelujah. And the reason why you're still living in fear is because God isn't first. Y la razón que todavía estás en temor es porque Dios no es primero en tu vida, hermano. Es tiempo que cambies eso porque dice la palabra, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and everything else shall be added. Busca el, el, el reino de Dios primero y todo las demás cosas serán por añadidura. Hello. A uno de sus hijos. Ay, ay, ay. Even our kids. Es que están jugando, pastor. They're playing, you know. Es que todos tenemos práctica todos los días. We got practice every day. Mira. No estoy hablando contra los juegos. I'm not speaking. Get me. Hear me clearly. I'm not speaking about the games they're in. Yo no estoy hablando en contra los juegos. Porque I like, I love to see my daughters in band. A mí me gusta mirar mis hijas en banda. Cuando estaban chiquitas en el juego. That was my joy. Era mi gozo. But my question to you. Mi pregunta para ti entonces es. Who's first in their lives? ¿Quién es primero en su vida? ¿Quién es primero en tu vida? Who's first in your life? Right? Because if you can't deal with the fears, your kids ain't going to deal with the fears either. Si tú no puedes con los temores que han venido contra ti, tus hijos no van a poder con los temores que vienen contra ellos. Ay, Señor. Ya me persinaba. Ya me Santo. Aleluya. Número tres. Número tres. Seeking God as a father changes everything. Buscar a Dios como padre lo cambia todo. Watch this, Luke 12, 32. Lucas 12, 32. Do not be afraid, little flock, for your father has been pleased to give you the kingdom. No tengas miedo, mi rebaño pequeño, porque es la buena voluntad del padre darles el reino. You see, some of you know the Bible, some of you know the Bible. But you don't know God as a father. Hallelujah. Hay personas que conocen la Biblia, pero no conocen a Dios como su padre. Right? And it, this, it's a picture in my mind. I, I, I retrato en mi mente. Right? When I, my, my, my little girls, when my, mis hijas, hermanos, se ponían aquí. Right? They, they sat on my lap. Amen. Oh, daddy. You're the best daddy in the whole world. Tú eres el mejor padre de todo el mundo. Amen. You're so beautiful. Hey, let, leave, leave them alone. Okay? Déjalas. Más bonito que todos los padres Thank you, mija Hallelujah. Yo lo sé I, I don't, I don't. Watch this But in that moment In ese momento I was like What do you want? Anything you want Is yours ¿Qué quieres? Y lo que tú quieras Es tuyo 
You see, when you know God as your daddy, cuando tú conoces a Dios como tu padre, aleluya, Dios dice, ¿qué quieres? Porque todo el reino es tuyo. What do you want? Because all kingdom, everything that I have is yours. All the power that's inside of me is inside of you. Todo el poder que está dentro de mí también está dentro de ti. You can rebuke anything. Tú puedes reprender cualquier cosa y esa cosa se tiene que ir. And those things have to flee in the name of Jesus. En el nombre de Cristo. Ponte de pie, stand to your feet. My last point, mi último punto. I'm going to read it first before I show it. Lo voy a leer antes de enseñarlo. Luke 12, 33, 34. Lucas 12, 33, 34. Sell your possessions and give to the poor. Provide purses for yourself that will not wear out. A treasure in heaven that will not fail. Where no thief comes near and no, mouth, no moth destroys. For where your treasure is, that's where your heart is. Vendan sus bienes. Y den a los pobres, provence de las bolsas que no se desgastan, acumulen tesoros inagotables en el cielo, donde no hay, no hay ladrón que aceche ni polilla que destruya, pues donde, pues donde tengan ustedes su tesoro, ahí también estará su corazón. Mi último punto, my last point. You want fear to leave. Tú crees, tú quieres que el miedo, el temor se vaya. You gotta serve others. Tienes que servir a los demás. Jesus was saying, "You want to get rid of, rid of fear? Pay attention to the needs around you." Quieres que se vaya el miedo? Pon atención de las necesidades alrededor de ti, porque cuando estás preocupado, because when you're when you're worried, it's about me, myself, and I. Todo lo que te preocupas eres tú. Es que no tengo, es que yo quiero carro del año o yo tengo un mejor carro porque mi carcacha es que no, no. I, I need a, a, a bigger, a bigger car, I need a newer car because my car. There's other people that don't have cars. Hay gente que ni tienen carro. Oh, I'm tired of renting and I want, I want a new house. Es que yo estoy cansado de rentar y quiero una nueva casa. Hay gente sin casa. There's people without house at all. They're homeless. Amen. Hallelujah. God is saying lo que Dios está diciendo if you serve others and if you worry about their needs you don't have to worry about your needs si tú, preocup, si tú te preocupas de la necesidad de otros tú no te tienes que preocupar por tu necesidad porque el temor solamente pensamos en nosotros because when we fear we only think about ourselves I ain't gonna fear no more. Yo reprendo todo temor. Hallelujah. There's needs around me. Hay necesidades alrededor de mí. Hallelujah. I gotta help him, man. Yo tengo que ayudar. I gotta bless him. Yo tengo que bendecirlo en el nombre de Cristo. Why? Because I know God's gonna take care of me. Porque yo sé que Dios se va a encargar de mí en el nombre de Cristo. It's not about me. Ya no se trata de mí. All glory is to God. Toda la gloria, toda la honra es al Señor, hermano. Voy a hacer un llamado. I'm going to make a call to the altar. It's up to you. Depende de ti. Te vas con el temor o lo dejas en el altar. You leave with your fear or you leave it in the altar. Watch this. Psalms 55:22. Salmo 55:22. Cast your cares on the Lord and He will sustain you. He will never let the righteous be sh shaken. Echa sobre Jehová tu carga. Y él te sustentará, no dejará para siempre caído al justo. Cast o echar significa to bring it before the presence of God. Let go and forget about it. Quiere decir, hermano, echar, venir a la presencia del Señor, simplemente tirar. Dejar esas cosas que han venido contra ti y no levantarlas otra vez y serás libre en el nombre y you're going to be free. 
you're going to be free. The worship team is going to sing. The gloria de alabanza. Some need to be set free this morning. Hay personas que tienen que ser libres. I'm sorry, but I can't live with fear anymore. Ya no, ya, ya no puedo, ya no puedo. It's taking a lot, amen. It's taking away from my blessing. Ya me está robando de mis bendiciones. I can't even sleep and I, ya ni puedo dormir en la noche. Ya basta. I'm tired of it. I rebuke you. Yo te reprendo en el nombre de Cristo. I am free. Yo soy libre en el nombre de Cristo. Hallelujah. So as they so as they play mientras ellos cantan hermanos the altars are open los altares están abiertos it's up to you depende de ti if you want to still carry that go ahead si quieres cargar con eso hazlo vas a afectar tu matrimonio vas a afectar a tus hijos y todas las personas alrededor de ti you're going to affect the people around you you're going to affect your family you're going to affect your marriage you're going to affect the kids but go ahead if you want to do it but if you want to be set free cast it in the presence of the Lord tíralo hermanos aleluya tíralo en el nombre echa echa esas cosas delante del Señor en el nombre de Cristo a lo mejor se enferma maybe it's sickness ah Lord I'm not going to fear sickness you know why you know why I'm going to a la enfermedad en el nombre de Cristo go ahead guys en el nombre de Cristo Bring it all to peace. Storm surrounding me, let it pray. That's Katie. That's your name. My leader, sister. Roll that thing for me. Call the sea to still. The rage me to still. Let it wait. Joy, you can help me, guys. That's your name. Jesus, Jesus. You make the dark.
Gracias Cristo, un aplauso fuerte. Que valor a hand. Thank you Jesus. Gracias Cristo. Oh, wow, what a blessing. Qué bendición, hermanos. I want to thank Alma. I know she's here. Yo sé que la hermana Alma está con nosotros. But they were a blessing to us last week and they fueron de gran bendición la semana pasada. They donated all the what do you call the table decorations las decoraciones de las mesas ellos ellos hermanos lo pusieron porque es un es, es un costo extra it's an extra cost but thank you for just being a blessing and serving us gracias por ser una bendición y servirnos a nosotros amen ya que take a seat se pueden sentar déjame ya recibir cuántos recibieron eso hermanos amen amen I'm gonna ask Priscilla come here Priscilla you, you help interpret Come on, I'm going to put you to work already, girl. She's done a great job. I said, and she, she started on, on Wednesday. Ella comenzó a hacer eso los miércoles. And I'm very proud of her. Yo soy muy orgullosa de ella. Amen. And she's learning. Amen. But she's doing a great job. Está aprendiendo, pero está haciendo un buen trabajo. Amen. Woo, how about my girl Priscilla up here? All right, we do have a few announcements today. Um, so this week, Esta semana, on Tuesday, we have our women's devotional, el martes tenemos el devoción de las mujeres. Um, and that'll be at 7 o'clock here in the children's building. A las siete, el, el, el edificio de los niños. So women, we would love to have you. Uh, que vengan ustedes, mujeres. Um, if you have questions, you can speak with Sister Chrislyn or si Sister Rosie. Pueden hablar con Chrislyn o la hermana Rosie. Um, and then on Wednesday we have our uh, hour of power prayer meeting El miércoles tenemos la hora de poder la and, and that's for all of our families y para to es para toda nuestra familia. and uh, our youth will also be meeting um, after our worship time in here they will go to the children's building for y their service also I want you to keep in mind that this is Pastors Appreciation Month. Y les que hoy es el mes de, de los pastores. And uh, next week on the 16th, we're going to be honoring Pastor Chrislyn and Pastor Lazaro. El 16, el este, este semana vamos a, a hacer con la hermana, uh, Pastor Chrislyn y Lazaro. That's right. And so um, if you would like to show your appreciation with a, a kind word, a card, Um, please feel free to bring those next week. Si quieren demostrar su uh, que los aprecian, pueden traer una tarjeta, darle una una palabra. Uh, we want to honor them next Sunday. Y los queremos honrar el otro domingo. Um, also, I want you to make sure you put on your calendars on uh, November the 4th. Y que no tienen sus calendarios el 4 de noviembre. Um, there's going to be a uh, fifth quarter event up at the football stadium after the football game. Va a haber algo en el 
estadio, el estadio de fútbol. Um, it's going to be a great event for our young people. Va a ser un evento para los jóvenes. And uh, I know that uh, Brother Ricky Scott is, is part of the planning for that event. And he's asked for some help with that. Y ha por ayuda con esto. But I'm going to give you some more information this week on that. Pero But just mark your calendars for November 4th. Le, de, le daremos más información sobre eso. Nomás marquen sus calendarios noviembre 4. We will also have some more events coming up in November. Um, so just get ready. I've got lots of things in store for us. Eventos en noviembre. All right. And our last announcement involves our children. Nuestro último anuncio involucra los, y los niños. It's a reminder to them we have some homework this week. Es un recuerdo para ellos que tienen tarea. We have some homework this week, don't we, kids? Es tienen tarea esta semana. So there are three things that you have to do this week, parents. Que hacer tres cosas los padres. First, we have to spend time together. Uh, la primera cosa es, uh, tener tiempo juntos. We have to affirm each other. We have to encourage each other. Te que a los hijos. And then what's our third thing we have to do together this week, kids? La cosa es... We have to pray together. That's right. We're learning in Children's Church about what are the behaviors that we can grow as a family. And since we have no school tomorrow, y como no hay escuela mañana, <laughs> that's what I'm excited about. Um, since we have no school tomorrow, that's your homework. Spend time together, encourage each other, and pray together. All right, well, thank you so much for being here. Muchas gracias por venir. Go in peace, you are dismissed. Se va a ir en paz.